Hi, I'm Sharon. And I'm Rich. And this is Thomas. Say hey, Thomas. Welcome to Knit Style. Hi, everybody. How are you? I thought we would do something a little bit different today. Yes, it's different. <laughs> Aside from it being Halloween, it's cold. It's Halloween! And I still have some of my Halloween costume on. But it's cold, so I put a jacket on over it. Sorry about that, guys. I will have Rich insert a picture. Okay. I actually sewed it. I sewed one piece of it, and it was the easiest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. All I did was I made a belt. And I sewed just a straight line on my machine, and it was so fun to sew felt. Wow. <laughs> a Superman belt. Not a Superman oh. belt. It's a Pokemon Go belt. Oh, okay, whatever. It was a very successful costume. Oh, yes, I'm sure it was. So it might. Yes. Rich and I work in an elementary school, and the kids obviously are very excited about Halloween. And, I, and I'm telling you, I never had so many conversations with kids. They were so excited that I was dressed as this Pokemon Go trainer. I had all these boys, mostly boys, asking me what level I was on and all sorts of fun things. Why don't you show off your sweater? How do you turn it on, anyway? I have to say secret magic words, and then it goes on. <laughs> secret magic words? Yes. Okay. No, man, yeah, no, no. Loosely translated means turning on switch. Turning on switch? Yes. You're still finding the turning on switch. Yes, it's the <laughs> easiest thing to get. Here we go. Isn't it cute? We had a good time. We oh, had a look good at the day. Cat looking at the light. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> well, the cat will never be on my lap because she loves his daddy. He loves his daddy very much. He's not so crazy about his mommy, but he tolerates me. Should away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know what I'm not getting tonight. No, no. <laughs> Stop, you're so bad. Oh my God, you're so bad. Okay, so anyway, for those of you long time listeners, mm -hmm. Rich and I used to record audio, or I used to record an audio show. It was the TV Knitting Podcast. You can still find the old audio files um, on iTunes. And Rich and I used to do a segment called Bar Time where we would literally sit at our downstairs bar and just talk, chat. And I know a lot of people have been asking for bar time to come back. So we are actually at our outdoor bar. Which is closed for the season. It's closed for the season. Like our pool. Like our pool. Tom, you're digging your nails into me. It's not fun. <laughs> no. But the thing is, our, our downstairs bar, the lighting is kind of not so great. So. Oh. It's kind of dark. Are you going to be picking cat be. hairs off yourself yeah, the geez. entire time that we're It's sitting? cold out. Why are you shedding now? I know. Foolish cat. Okay. So, anyway, anything new with no. you? No. No thing. We, I actually okay, have something. Okay, nice. I'll be seeing you. No. We actually have something to share. Um, we are both retiring in June. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? Ow. Don't dig your nails in so deep, sucker. Yes, we're retiring. I am super excited. We're very, we're both excited. We work in the same building, mm -hmm. and we're retiring together. Mm -hmm. And you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Lots of travel. We mm -hmm. already have our first trip, pretty much planned. We do. You want to tell them where we're going? San Juan for we're, three days. Yes. And then while we're in San Juan, we'll pick up. A boat. Mm -hmm. The Disney cruise boat. Ow, you keep digging your nails into me, sorry. And we will go on a seven what? Seven day cruise. Seven day cruise. Antigua. Mm -hmm. Saint Lucia. Bonaire. And Aruba. Saint Lucia. And then back the one, to San Juan. I keep forgetting Saint Lucia is the second one. Yes. I always forget. But Bonaire is what I'm really and excited about. And we will about. snorkel our way through the Caribbean. Yes. We enjoy snorkeling. And then, you know, snorkel and drink our way through the Caribbean. So you know you're going to go to all the fiber events in the country with me now, right? Well, in the Northeast. No, all of them. We're no, going to fly no. to California. Why? 
to go to the all the fibers. We're gonna go up to Oregon. What? <laughs> this is news to me. What happened to Portugal? <laughs> we'll do that too. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to Maryland and Vermont. Yeah, no, we are going to do and Finger Lakes. And I'd like to go to Maryland Sheep and Wool. I'd like to go to the Finger Lakes Festival. Is there a Sheep and Wool in Maine? Anyone know? Let I believe know. there is. There's a wonderful one in New Hampshire. Massachusetts too, right? Um, yes. I believe, yeah. But New Hampshire Sheep and Wool, I went to with Emily, yeah. and that's a lovely one. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so speaking of festivals, this is a good segue into... My Rhinebeck Hall. Oh, I didn't go to Rhinebeck this year. No. Last year I had a bad leg, got me out of it this year. This year a you were- A friend went with you. Yes, and I think that was more entertaining, no offense. Oh, that's all right, she knits and everything yeah. too. So of course, you walked around you know, pinching sheep and everything <laughs> else. I mean, well, of course, whereas I wouldn't pinching do sheep. that. We were fondling a lot of yarn. Yes, I'm sure you were. We definitely were fondling Not my idea yarn. of things to fondle. True. Okay, so here, pick something out. First of all, this was my first purchase of the day. Oh, this the basket. Basket? Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Those with the other 642 you have. I don't have 642 baskets. Okay. Okay. So here, pick something out. It looks like a bag of sheep fleece. It is a bag of sheep fleece. Ah, oh, yes, it is brown. Ooh. Doesn't it smell lovely? Ew, it smells <laughs> like an old barn. <laughs> yeah, it smells lovely, yeah. It smells mm. like an old barn. I can't wait to get a scarf from that old smelly stuff. No, but anyway, so this is, this is a Shetland sheep. And it has a name. Oh, gosh, I think it's Thunder. Is Stinky. Name? <laughs> Stinky. No, the name is Thunder, I believe. Huh. And... It's a lamb's fleece, which I love getting a lamb's fleece because they're so soft. So this is some locks. And it's isn't this color beautiful? It's it's truly a chocolate brown. Oh, look what a real brown must be. <laughs> That's gonna be our thumbnail picture. I can't believe you put that under your nose. You I just told me to do that. That must have been Stinky's bottom part. Oh my oh, gosh. God. <laughs> Anyway, so close that bag. I'm gonna pass out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's thunder. Okay, thunder. That's all stuff. Now it's just beautiful... some naked lamb running around. Yep, freezing. thunder, fleece thunder. Oh, he was thunder. four months old when he was shorn. That young? Four months. Yeah, wow, poor he was just thing. born this year, and he was shorn um, in September, September sixth, twenty sixteen. And it's a lamb's fleece, and it's beautiful. Mm, very nice. It is a pound. And we'll see how much I get. Okay. It's either going to be a sweater or a shawl. I don't know. I'm definitely going to take a shower tonight now. Okay, now I didn't really buy a lot of exciting things at Rhinebeck, but that was that was the one exciting well, thing. That's so what anyway. you always go for anyway. Here. Yeah, I know. Pick another thing. Oh, yarn. How unusual. I haven't seen that for the last six minutes. <laughs> In this house, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. I, I do apologize. We have yarn. What's bamboo soup? The cat is just cannot understand what we're doing. Bamboo. The cat is going crazy. What's bamboo super wash? It is 65% merino wool, 35% bamboo. Coming back up here again. No. Those we'll of wait. you who live there, please tell me how to pronounce it. But anyway, it's from the south, from that island, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at those colors. Very muted, soft. I just couldn't resist it. Pinks, tans, just gorgeous. So it is, how many yards? 425 yards from the Bay Collection. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful. It'll be a shawl. Feels nice. Okay. Sheep. St. Mary on the Hill. Cashmere. Cashmere. I'm gonna make a tiny little sweater. I know. It's Tom, little... you're getting a sweater. <laughs> I could. It's a tiny bit of cashmere roving. And I'm going to spin that on a spindle. 
And you know, I'm thinking making a necklace or something out of it. Maybe a Laura Nelkin necklace. It would be nice and soft. It's not, it's definitely, it's only an ounce. Is it an ounce or two ounces? No, it's sure. No, it's a half an ounce. A fiber necklace. Oh, yeah. There's, there's knitting, there's necklaces that have been knit. Yeah. Laura Nelkin does a lot of knitted necklaces. Okay. Not the receipts. We don't want to see oh. those. No. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Here. <laughs> a bag. Ugh. Oh, there's things in it. It's got things in it. Cherry. Ooh, a wooden top. Basically. So Ooh. this is a Jenkins spindle. Oh, spindle. I oh. actually got two because it's very rare to find Jenkins at, in this neck of the woods. So. I was only going to buy one. Ow, something bit me. Something bit you? But this mm -hmm. one... Do you have any earring? So this is, this is a Jenkins spin, spindle. It is an Aegean. And he paints flowers on his Aegeans very often. And I just think it's beautiful. It's light. It's only 14 grams. So I'm thinking spinning of spinning that cashmere on here because hopefully it will fly. And my other Aegeans are much heavier than this, so I'm pretty excited about this one. And here's another Jenkins at Rosewood. This one I bought for the wood, Amazon Rosewood. I've never seen Amazon Rosewood before, so that's why I picked this one up. This one's a little heavier, it's 20 grams, and it's beautiful. And it's Amazon. It's a lark style, and it's Amazon rosewood, and I think it's gorgeous. And I'd never heard of Amazon rosewood before, so that's why I I picked this little guy up. It's focusing on Richie. <laughs> okay. All right. What else we got? Anything? Mm-hmm. Earrings. These I thought were so pretty. There is a pewter dealer there. I don't know if he makes his own things, but they are dragons. There it goes. Yeah, these are dragons, and I think they're just really pretty. And I have a pewter piece that I got from him last year that will match this, and that's why I bought these. So I love it. That's it, your little bag so is empty. So that's pretty much the most exciting thing. I bought some other things. I bought this. So you can tell I'm a dyer because I bought some natural, natural skeins. And this is, I just fell in love with this. It is 75% BFL, 25% Tussa Silk, 727 yards per skein, and I got two skeins. And I'm going to dye this, and it's going to be a sweater. And this is from Liberty Ridge Farms. And I think it's really beautiful. And it feels so soft. And I really love it. So I'm excited mm, about her. dyeing that. Oh, this is, yeah. I picked up... A gingar scissor, uh, just a little embroidery scissor. You can always use these. And it was a pretty good price. So I got one of those. Is that it? Well. What? Aside from your fleece and this stuff, I wouldn't want to sit on anything else you bought. That's no, sure. yeah, that's for sure. I have a lot of sharp pointy things. And I, this is it. This is the last thing that I bought. More this yarn. Is, it's not yarn. Whatever it is. Wait, let me read what it is. Da -dum -dum -dum. White comb top. What is that? <laughs> what is this stuff? It's spinning fiber. It's all the same stuff. It's well, it is fiber. It's it, you, is this man-made? It's from a sheep. It's from a merino from Australia. It's very fine um, merino from Australia. Here, I'll show well, you. It's yarn. So I got, it from the, it I got it from the Little Barn, who are known for having really good deals on yarn and fiber. 
and I'm going to dye this. And it's super fine merino, not super washed, so I'm going to have to be careful with it. Just like that other yarn I got, I showed you, I have to be careful with that too because it's not super washed. So I have to be very careful not to felt it. But $16, $17 for 16 ounces, and I got a discount on top of that, is amazing. So I bought two pounds of it, and I will be dyeing that and putting it for sale in the shop. And maybe spinning some of it for a sweater for myself. All these fun things to do when I retire. Oh, good. That means you'll leave me alone? <laughs> Maybe. Mm. So that's it. Wow, okay. Basically. From Ryan Beck. I wish we had a fire going. I know, it is. It's cold out it's here. It's chilly out here. It's getting really cold now. Yeah. You can go in if you want There's to. There's going to be first on a pumpkin tonight. Yeah. We have actually jack o' lanterns. The kids carve jack o' lanterns. I noticed. <laughs> So let's talk about what I've been working on. I don't know. What have you been working on? Troy's scarf. I finished. Pretty nice. Look, hold it so we can see how long it is. Isn't it beautiful? And it's still all the way over here. It is so long. This is the Vulpix shawl by our genius friend Stephen West. And Very nice. isn't it gorgeous? The you want pud, one, right? The little pud doesn't wear it. I'm stealing it. I can knit you one. What color do you want? What color do you want? Oh, I don't know. And uh, Something with blue in it. Blue? Oh, there he goes again. I wonder the ground's caving So in. blue and what other color? Blue and black. Blue and black? Really? Light blue and black? Or dark blue and black. Well, I don't like that color. That's purple. Blue. Oh, it's purple. Oh, mm -hmm. you know me, I'm colorblind. You're not you can make it blue. any color. This I color? Really no, that's too light. How about orange and gray? Oh, orange. I don't know how that would look. Okay, orange. All right. Oh, I'll show you a picture of it because it. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I love this. I he loves it. Oh my gosh, he was so excited when it was finished. I handed it to him the other morning. He's he wore it already. He loves it. It's nice and warm and cuddly, and you love it. Mm. So yeah, it's very nice. Thanks. All right. So I've been working on socks in the car. Oh, is that you've been working on? So mm -hmm. Whose feet? These are for either me or Emily. I don't know. And the stitches are off the needles, which is of course. But these are the just a plain vanilla sock, and. I finished the first one. This is the second one. This is Nitty in color in the creepy colorway, and I'm ready to go out. I am just finished the um, gusset decreases, and I'm ready to go out the foot. Didn't finish them by Halloween, but... That's a good way to avoid getting holes in a toe. Don't put a toe in. Yeah, that's true. Now you must worry about getting a hole in the toe. Then by my feet would freeze. And then this was another thing I bought at Ryan Beck. Did you see this? Yeah, I saw that. They saw it too. This is a sock blank by Gail's Art, and I'm almost done with the first oh, wow. sock. That's what it looks like when you knit it. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. You tear it apart and you knit it. You tear it apart. You don't see the scary faces. No. The scary faces become. Who's it's that? okay. The scary faces become like speckles. Hmm. So. This cat is just so distracting. He's confused. He has no idea why we're sitting out here. Why are you sitting out here? It's cold. I know. So anyway, so isn't it pretty? Mm. I just love it. I love the colors. These fun neons. Feel it. Mm. Yep, so that's pretty cool. And then I am really pushing to finish this shawl. I've been really working hard on it. So this is... Um, a Martina Bem pattern, and of course, I stopped in the middle of the row. Is a or a scarf like Troy's? It's a sh it's similar, similarly shaped. It's a long shawl, oh. and it's called Snowflake Party. And I'd say I'm almost done. I'd say I'm yeah. I, 
probably 75% done because look at the tiny little ball I have left. Mm -hmm. Tiny. So I should finish that this week and you'll see that as a finished object next week. So that's pretty much all I've been working on. You want to talk about my yarn dyeing? You do it every Saturday. I do it every Saturday. Well, I food shop. So I have one skein of Halloween Horror Night that's going in the shop this week. I did a custom order, so I dyed two. And one is going to go to the person who ordered it, and then I have another one. Yeah, okay. So this that's has been nice. a very popular color. Mm. I can see why. And then I dyed some Christmas colors. Ah. Oh yeah, that's right, that's coming. So I'm super excited about my Christmas colors. That's some pilgrim colors, like you know, black and white and whatever <laughs> they wear. Oh, there we go. So this oh my gosh, look how that's showing up on the camera. Ooh, bright. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. This is a gorgeous orange red, or orange red as you New Yorkers say it. And orange red, yes. That's yes, orange. it's orange, I know. So this is a beautiful orange red. And the name of it is Sandy Claus after the character in Nightmare Before Christmas. And my daughter named it, and it's soft. Oh, okay. What do you think? Very nice. Oh. I love it. So there's two oh, of these. Tonight, two of these guy. skeins. These are both sock sock yarns. One is an 80-20 and the other is a 100, um, I mean, sorry, 75-25 merino nylon. Mm -hmm. Nylon so you don't wear holes in your socks. Okay, then the next one These are my favorite. I know, I love these. As a matter of fact, you helped come up with this color, actually. So, I adore this color. You want to tell them what the name of it is? Red Rider. Red Rider. After a Christmas story. From the Christmas Story movie which is one of our favorite movies, mm -hmm. because you're exactly like the father. <laughs> Gee, thanks. We were watching it last year, and the kids and I just kept looking at each other going, wow. <laughs> that sounds like somebody we know in our house. <laughs> but anyway, so the main character wants a BB gun, the Red Riders BB gun. And so this is the colorway I did. So it's got red and a little bit of pink and some gray speckles. And I love it. It's just pretty and Christmassy without screaming Christmas. What do you think? Very nice. Thank you. I had fun dining dy dy really these. You can make my scarf out of that. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll talk about that. All right. And then this is the last one I have. Do you remember what I'm going to call this one? What great tale? This one is another Christmas story reference. And. Let me sh let me tongue on frozen pole. Not tongue oh. on frozen pole. But equally as funny, I think. This is, you're going to shoot your eye out. Which is what I remember mostly from this. Your face keeps getting in the way. Sorry, I don't mean to keep stepping in front of you. But like, it won't focus with your face. Don't, don't peek. It won't focus if you peek behind me. <laughs> anyway, this is... What you're going to shoot your eye out. You're going to shoot your eye out. What's, a, what's significant about that? Why is it? It's not that the color is that. It's just it's just a quote from the movie, and oh, it's Christmassy. Okay. And actually, what I like about this skein is that it, again, doesn't scream Christmas at you. It's more like the 
the movie is has very subtle kind of old-fashioned colors and these are more subtle Christmas colors oh. so that's why I think it, it's a good title okay okay all right and with that my hands are cold <laughs> so am I. And I'm going in. So you can say goodbye for me and for you. Well, say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, everyone. It was nice talking to you. Yes, thanks for stopping in, honey. That's quite we'll all right. We'll have to have you stop in again. Yes, I think I'll go do a little bar time. I no, think, it's no, Monday. It's Monday. Monday. No, we're not doing bar time today. So the shop update will be on Wednesday this week, Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016, at 8 p.m., Eastern time. So I hope to see you there and I will have all these lovely colors in stock at that time. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed Rich and I being silly on camera and I'll have him back at some point. It's hard to like nail him down. He's a, I don't know, he's always busy. Trying to get him to sit still for five seconds is like really hard. Anyway, I hope you guys had a very happy Halloween. Have a great week. Cheers. figure out what we're doing. What? I look so bundled up. Oh god. That's okay. That actually is cute. I like that. <laughs>